Big Ounce's wife just jumped right on my back. Goodbye, Kanye. Although this is a lovely place for them. <laughs> and now she's going in to check out my new bar. He's adorable. Sleeps right in the driver's seat. I think my villain arc should start today. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. It is a beautiful evening here out on the farm. As you can see, things look much better at night. Old Uncle Ben's starting to burn the rest of the wood that I need to burn. And one of the animals knocked over the feed bin, so now there's just feed everywhere here. It's a lovely evening here at the Urban Rescue Ranch. So I thought I'd give you guys a nighttime tour of what the property looks like right now with all the work we've been doing. So I suppose I'll go ahead and follow these adorable ducks to the pond. I have our adorable Kanye boy over here. Petunia's sleeping over there outside for some reason. We also have this adorable little fire pit. And for all you that thought that I rehomed Kevin, I didn't, he's just over here. But because I know you guys love him, I'm gonna go give you a little Rhea tour. I'm gonna show you guys the Rhea enclosure. Take a look at this little man here. This is my son, Kanye. He's very handsome and beautiful. Uh, we love Kanye very, very much. We are not the urban hoarding animals ranch. Even though I love Kanye very dearly, we found a wonderful home where he's gonna have a female to bother and annoy and kiss. Make little adorable baby Kanye's if he so desires. But the point of a farm sanctuary is not to keep animals for forever, but to get them to the best possible home they could go to. For Kanye, that is a place where he can have an adorable little Kim Kardashian to kiss on and make adorable little Northies with. Also a place with lots of sheep where Kanye will be able to spread his wings and fly and be a part of a herd is so much better than here where he has to hang out with poggers and queen and a kangaroo. Even though I'm sure that's an enriching life for him, it's not the best possible life for a sheep. So we either want to get more sheep or we want to get him to a place where he can be with his friends. And that's what we're going to be doing. We'll give you periodic updates from time to time. But for the most part, we like to respect the privacy of the new homes that we get these animals to. And we're not going to be doing it too much. For those of you that are sad about this, I'm more sad because he's my son. And also, there are lots of more Kanye's to take in. Everybody go in the comments and say goodbye, Kanye. We love you, we appreciate you, and we wish you the best of luck at your new home. Okay, now that the sad part's over with, take a look at this. Karen is still here being cringe like she always is. Kevin is also being cringe, but pretty soon he's gonna be almost indistinguishable from his son, Soldier Boy. Who is infinitely less cringe in every possible way. Look at this adorable baby boy. These guys still have a full pond back there, which is pretty amazing, because all the other ponds that are small dried up. Also, pretty soon I'm gonna move these other guys and Soldier Boy by themselves into that back field there with the neat little bar. So this little trio here is gonna be in the back with that barn area and they're gonna hang out with the baby. The geese are still annoying per usual. They like to honk at me until I feed them. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Oh, sweet wampum. Just look at those folds. <laughs> what if I just ate Remington raw on camera for you guys? What would you all do if we lived in a society? Just eat Remington raw on camera and no one would care. <laughs> Just kidding, but look how cute these babies are. Okay, Donald Trump, calm down. Calm down, here you go, eat some food. I'm also going to be rehoming these larger ducks that Tank and I rescued from the city. Although this is a lovely place for them, it's the same kind of situation as Kanye, where we just want them to go to a better home, and we found somebody that will give them a wonderful house. Edmonton really just be letting this man get right up under him. I do think we're going to keep this little man and give him a name, but I'm not sure what to name him yet. He's the one with the broken beak, but we are gonna be keeping her because she seems to be the cutest and friendliest and i love her person but we did find a home for these adorable little creatures no remington no remington you didn't just peck my adorable baby you know what guys i think my villain arc should start today <laughs> just kidding but i will need to be separating remington as well going into a time of restructuring and downsizing before we start the wildlife rehab because there's going to be a lot going on with that taking care of that new building back there is going to be a lot of work and we're going to need to get electric set up and everything and that's going to take a lot of uncle ben's time in the meantime, Homelander, James Charles, and Shrek are doing amazingly well. James Charles has obviously completely healed up from his wry neck now. And Shrek, who I think is a girl, is now no longer cringe and blind. They let me touch their backs now. Look how cute that is. Having said that, I also found an amazing home for these adorable baby boys. But we won't be rehoming them for a little bit. Now these adorable creatures are staying with us, but we will eventually be rehoming them as well. Now that we know that they are safe and happy and healthy and they can go to a new place. Homelander is going to stay with me because 
because I love him and he's adorable. And eventually we're going to need to get Homelander a little wife because we don't want him to be alone with just his species. Even though he grew up with these guys, I believe that to him he sees all the other species of ratites as his brother. The pond here is still full, which is phenomenal. And Uncle Ben finally got rid of the rest of the oil that was back here. Paid somebody to come and pump it out. The rest of these things are just barrels and totes that I have covered up. And yes, this is all still my property for a decent bit out there, actually. I just wanted to be safe. Everything in here looks amazing. And the baby is still enjoying being in here. But I won't be letting him out to go to the rest of the property, which is what I'm planning to do, until that building is finished. There is now no more trash or scrap metal on the rest of the property. I don't want the baby to be messing with these guys whenever they're coming and going, leaving through the gate, because we're going to have a lot of contractors here for a while. At least for the next week and a half to two weeks, we're going to have people working on the projects here for that new building, and it's going to be a lot of work. But the Clappy Blappies have done an amazing job of cutting down all this grass. They keep it real nice and trim. It's actually amazing. Keeping this place looking like a golf course, and I'm leaving this whole area here untouched because this is going to be our garden area, and I want to keep the animals separate from our beehive in the back, and we're probably going to get a couple more beehives in the future. And like I said, all of this is going to be for our educational programs when we bring the kids from the city schools out here to teach them about these adorable animals. As you can see, the Clappy Blappies like to wander around, but lately they've been sleeping inside our chicken coop here instead of this brand new barn that I bought. Now, old Uncle Ben isn't complaining, but I do love this brand new barn, and I wish that they would love it and appreciate it as well. Regardless, I've noticed that when it rains, it starts to pull up in this corner here, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stack up some pallets, and then I'm going to put some plywood, and we're going to have that as a floor. With the pallets and the plywood, I'm going to go ahead and stack a ton of hay bales in here and put a bunch of hay on top, and this is going to be a stable, and we can have all kinds of things in here, like fallow deer that are going to go and be hunted, axis deer. But just like how cringe people hunt the baby here in Texas, people also hunt zebras. Now, I'm not saying we're going to be getting one anytime soon, but that is something we can legally do here without any permits because Texas is silly. But the Clappy Blappies are kind of nocturnal, and they like to just walk around all night and chew on this adorable little grass here. But I am noticing that they're becoming a bit more skittish as I've given them a lot more freedom and they're interacting with them a bit less. Also, if we lay down and pretend like we're dead, they'll come and climb on top of us after a good period of time. Having said that, having an apple is much more effective at getting them to come up to me, so I know that I'm always going to be able to have their trust in that regard. I also need to go through here and take all these nasty little thorn prickles from these mesquite saplings and get rid of them. But they have strong padded feet just like the baby, so this isn't really a problem for them. All these guys have nasty things like this in the wild. But this is what the chicken coop looks like right now, and this is where the Cappies have been hanging out in, and I don't blame them because it's awesome in here. Also, Queeb likes to hang out outside all night because she's my perfect little precious baby girl that protects the farm better than any other dog, especially Poggers, who, being my adorable little baby baby boy that he is, sleeps right in the driver's seat of this bus that I put here. As you can see, we went ahead and moved the bus to the front here. Look, that's me, you guys. Poggers wants to be like Papa, so he sleeps in here instead of all of this nice hay bedding that I put in here for him. How's about you be like your sister and go outside and protect us, huh? How about you all go comment, wow, Poggers, you're being abhorrently cringe right now by not protecting our entire farm. Also, every time I make a run to the store to get things like hay or alfalfa for the rat tights, I have to use this wheelbarrow to take it all the way to the back. And look at Poggers over there just being cringe. Cringe, uh-uh, skinwalker dog in my bus. Also, I filled up this dumpster so there's now no more trash on the property. And I got this sky trash, or whatever this is called for the building because old Uncle Ben's gonna be building this and doing the renovations all by himself. That's right, I'm constructing a metal building all by myself. Oh, so now he wants to come help Papa. Also, take a look at this, you guys. The whole pecan tree is yellow. It's beautiful. But we got no pecans this year. I think it happens every other year, right? Can someone confirm this? I'm going to start giving these guys a mix of alfalfa pellets with some chick starter or layer pellet because it's the same thing and much cheaper than buying actual rat tight feed. As you can see, the Cappies prefer to stay in here as opposed to the other barn. So I'm going to go ahead and stock this area here with a lot of hay as opposed to that for now. All right, you guys. I went ahead and strung up all of these lights, as you can see. Now we got the baby and the clappies hanging out. It's getting a bit nipply tonight. Seems like now they're just interested in sniffing all this hay that I left on the ground here. Okay, I went ahead and let Poggers in here and Queen to go ahead and see how things are going. See, the cappies are not scared of her at all. 
They love her. And now she's going in to check out my new barn. At least Queen appreciates it. Oh. Okay, almost done. And look at this. Queen just jumped over that fence to get into the ostrich pen so she could drink from their pond. Well, well, look who's finally warming up to his new hoe. Mr. DeBaby. Oh, old Uncle Ben spends $5,000 getting this brand new garage thing here, but no. Okay, guys, there it is. The finished product. I finally have all all this strung up now as you can see we can walk in here and now we can see things very well because of all the lighting in here the baby's gonna be sleeping in here and cuddling up with the cappies and i'm probably even gonna get a couple more hay bales because these guys are definitely just gonna keep eating this stuff but i think three or four more hay bales will get this place completely comfy and winterproof i'll probably put some plastic over this stuff and over these just to keep it a little less drafty kind of like this but this is a nice comfy set up for these guys and they seem pretty happy and it looks like the clappies don't even care about the cold right now but i'm sure they'll be going back in the barn real soon all right the pigs are all asleep in the hay pie i have the rest of the decorations up and i'm finishing the rest of the wood that we need to burn one last thing i'll say is that if you guys were wondering queen actually does know how to jump over this fence very easily she just did it and if she sees a coyote on the perimeter she will just jump and attack it or at the very least bark it away she is a perfect little bean and she literally just did it again but as you guys can see the clappy blappies are comfy and happy in their new home oh i sure am going to miss this adorable baby boy i have returned to ounce topia and big ounce's wife just jumped right on my back it didn't make any sense now she's trying to get up there no look i'm afraid she's gonna fall come on my little female ounce or ten. Oh, look how precious she is <laughs> look at this big boy nibbling on me the second i came in here she just jumped up here jumped on here and then jumped on my shoulder what incredible little creatures oh come here big boy and i think that they're making a little nest down down here but yeah there's cringe in their little nest hello cringe why did you use paper and plastic to make your nest see what i mean look at this i'll get them with their water they're so cute and happy in here get ready you guys because old uncle ben is going to create all kinds of little step stones and ladders we're really going to build out ounce topia i'm going to try and find a little wheel that they can run on how adorable would that be that's it for now though guys love you appreciate you thanks so much for watching my videos and i'll see you in the next oh i almost forgot to tell you